Welcome back to Breakfast Television. It's time now to meet some of the candidates running in the Edmonton Castle Downs area. There are three vying for the role of MLA to represent Castle Downs. Two of them are here with us this morning. It was a tight race the last time these two gentlemen went at it. Uh, Thomas Lukasik ended up winning by three votes. Mr. Kibernanis, sorry, Chris Kibernanis. Kibernanis, <laughs> thank you very much, Chris. You get to go first. Thank you. Why, hello, Castle Downs. Good morning. I'm here today to talk about an election of differences. An Alberta Liberal government would immediately eliminate health care premiums, where a Conservative government would phase it out over four years. A Liberal government would re regulate electricity, while a Conservative government would continue down the path of deregulation. An Alberta Liberal government would help out seniors by uh, removing their education portion of their property taxes up to $1,000 per household, where a Conservative government would only freeze it at the 2004 rates. I'm not here today, Castle Downs, to promise if you elect me, I'll build you a high school, because I think people become jaded and disappointed when politicians don't follow through on their promises. I am here to give you a guarantee that if I am elected, I work very hard on behalf of the constituents of Castle Downs and provide them with a strong voice in the legislature. My family and I are proud residents of Castle Downs. It's our home. It's our community, and I want to make a difference. My name is Chris Kibbermanis. On Election Day, March the 3rd, I hope I can count on your support. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chris. Of course, Chris, representing the Liberal Party.